oceanfront business owners want it known. They appreciate the Virginia Beach Police Department. They want to thank officers for the efforts that they made in restoring peace after last Friday's shootings. And moving forward, they would like new technology to help police do their job. And your side's Brett Hall has our continuing coverage. Could crime fighting technology like ShotSpotter, rolled out recently in Newport News to detect gunshots, be the latest tool to help police keep order at the oceanfront? We obviously are, have been concerned about the resort. Business owners who make up the city's resort advisory commission think it can't hurt. Following the multiple shootings Friday night that left nine injured and two dead, the commission unanimously approved to send this letter to city council today. We wanted to show our support of the police department. In it, they pushed for increased funding for police so that the men and women in blue can properly watch over one of the region's economic engines. Make sure that we've got the tools in place to deal with the environment that we're dealing with right now. As we told you last night, the city has already committed to spend more than a million dollars to relaunch its resort management office. Included in this year's budget proposal is the creation of the new resort liaison squad within the Virginia Beach Police Department. This new group of officers would be tasked with addressing what causes crime at the oceanfront. And with $300,000 also planned in new security cameras, Commission Chair and local restaurant owner B.J. Bauman is hopeful for better days ahead. Now let's have a good season. Let's, let's try to get in a position where next winter is not quite so, so brutal. She says as the whole world is looking to leave COVID-19 behind, everyone should be looking to leave images of crime tape at the oceanfront behind as well. We are um, doing anything and everything that we can to ensure that we've got uh, a great, welcoming, safe, fun environment for our visitors to come to and our residents. Of course, this is just the latest letter sent by the hospitality industry in the wake of the shootings. The budget will be voted on in early May. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.